that. And this is so powerful. Right down here at the bottom of every day, this is what your morning starts out with. So here, this morning, I am grateful for. All right, so what did I write down here a few days ago? I had four things I was grateful for. This morning, I'm grateful for a good night's sleep to awaken at 6 a.m., right? Now, I wrote this right after I got up. This morning, I'm grateful for being able to bask in God's comfort anytime that I choose. Number three, I'm grateful this morning for time alone at Sweet Beans at lunch. You see, I'm focusing towards what's going to happen later in the day. So what I do at lunchtime, a lot of times, I go down to the coffee shop I take my laptop with me and I get caught up on my email. So that's sort of my time alone during the day to where I'm not getting interrupted, but I'm staying on top of my email. My email response time is scheduled within the day and I'm just not responding from my hip or whenever I think to do it. And then fourthly, uh, this morning I'm grateful for my amazing weight loss this month so far and shopping at Tickner's after I achieve my goal. So there I am uh, looking towards the future, and I'm already grateful for what's going to happen before it even happens. Then on the right-hand side of the, of the daily planner, this is being written in the morning before I start up. I am 100% committed to my, and you fill in your goal. I've got a personal goal right there. Uh, and that's a great way to write affirmations, by the way. So you see you've got room to write three affirmations and a great way to use affirmations is just restate and write down what your goal is that you're working on. So here I am. Start out your affirmation with, I am 100% committed to blank. And you fill in that blank with an actionable item that moves you towards your goal. All right. By the way, let me give you just a comment here real quick on affirmations. You know, a lot of people teach and they have for decades to speak an affirmation as if it has already happened. And you know, I did that for a long time. And finally, I just realized my subconscious does not like being lied to. If I say in an affirmation, I am so excited that I now weigh 178 pounds. Well, that's a lie, all right? Let me tell you how to reframe and, re and restate your affirmation that is truthful, and moves you towards your goal. Here's how you started out, like I just said. I am 100% committed to blank. That's an actionable item. To blank, taking action in whatever kind of way that leads me towards my goal. So for example, let's say I'm working on weight loss and let's say that I'm taking a supplement uh, called, all right, you know, iso, um, Ionic Supreme, all right, which is an isogenic supplement. So you could state your affirmation by saying, I am 100% committed to taking Ionic Supreme supplements to move me towards my weight goal of X by such and such a date. That is a perfect affirmation that reinforces for you to take action on what it will move you towards your goal. In the world of real estate investing or raising private money, an, an affirmation could be, I am 100% committed to emailing five of my stress-free investing audios to five potential private lenders. So that's very, very believable and doable. And you are affirming actions, affirmations, you are affirming actions that's going to move you towards your goal. So I write down three of those affirmations every morning that's moving me towards my goal. Now, the next session, a section here in the daily planner is today's targets. Now, what does today's targets mean? I got three targets I can write down. Um, and what the targets are all about is, here's the question. What will make today a win for me? What, can, what could happen today that could really be a big win for me? Well, uh, here's a few days ago, I, I wrote down, um, finish NMLS, safe one hour, continuing education, and finish my mortgage license education for the year. Well, that took me an hour to do, and guess what? 
the power of putting the ink on the paper. That's another powerful thing about this journal. Don't rely on putting your information in a device or on a laptop, laptop or on your phone. Like a, a mentor of mine told me decades ago, cut the gab and get on the pad. Put your pen to the paper and there's magic that happens. So that's one of the sections. Today's targets, write down three things that will make today a win for you. Also on every day, you have a quote, a positive quote. Here's one from Les Brown on this day that says, accept responsibility for your life. Know that it is you who will get you where you want to go and no one else. All right. Now we're wrapping up for the day. I love this. Now at the end of the day, I come to my self journal and I write down three lessons that I learned from today. So what's that mean? Lessons learned from today. Well, what are the opportunities for improvement? What, what, as I reflect back over the day, what is it that I could have done better? What lessons did I learn? What do I look back and think to myself? Well, Jay, you know, you should have done that. Or Jay, if you shouldn't have done such and such, then there could have been a different uh, outcome. 